What's going on, Crafty Nistas? I'm back with another DIY. I'm going to start out with a basic pillow form. This one is 12 by 16. I picked this one up at Joann's. I traditionally would just pick up my pillows at Walmart. Um, I only spent a few dollars, but I was there and I wanted something a little bit bigger than traditional. If you're thinking about a ring bearer, you want something um, a little bit wider for them to pick up. So I just picked it up there. Um, I've got this delicate, really beautiful fabric that I picked up at Joann's. It was on sale and I also had an additional amount coupon that I got to use that day. So although this is not that cheap, um, I got it at a pretty good deal because I didn't need that much. I also picked up these flowers from Michaels. These are recollection, Recollections flowers. And so I'm going to add one of those to the pillow. And this trim is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use this also around the pillow. These are my trusty fabric scissors. I only use those for fabric. They are super sharp and trusty. So I just laid out my fabric. And I'm going to use this on my cutting mat grid. And it's, see, it slides right through there. I'm just using probably about an inch or so more around what I would traditionally need. One, about a, one to two inches. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the tag off. And it kind of slid right off once I pull the scissors. So I had the fabric on the wrong side and flipped it up. As you can see how pretty that is. It has some pearls and appliques on it. And I'm just stretching my fabric to make sure that it's covered and it's going to go on each side going to fit around the sides pretty good. I'm going to work a section at a time. I'm not going to just glue all over. And I'm using fabric tack, which is wonderful. So normally I would just take my finger and take out um, the inside. I just want to show that I use these little tweezers, these craft tweezers to actually pull out the little um, wrapping that comes in it, and I didn't get my hands all sticky. Uh, since that's a new bottle. So now I'm just using the fabric tack around and using a little bit at a time, starting at the edges. Then I'm going to lay that down. And then once I did that, I remembered I needed to get a cloth. As I mentioned before, I didn't want sticky hands. So I have a nice cloth that I've damped. And this isn't a washcloth. I get the cleaning cloths from in a big bag from Home Depot. And I took some of them out of their that I don't use for cleaning and use them in my craft room. So this is a nice cloth to use for that. So I'm just working with a damp cloth and gluing down with the fabric tack and working a section at a time. That way I won't have dry glue or an uneven pull of fabric. I'm just pulling my fabric down as I go. And once I'm dabbing the, fab, the fabric tack, if it gets a little clogged, I just wipe it off with my rag and it's good to go. So as I pull down, here I am using the damp cloth. That way I'm able to press it down and also use something to 
make sure that I'm not getting it stuck to anything with making it short stamp. Now that I've got it all around and gave it a little bit time to dry, which it doesn't take time at all, too much of time at all to dry, here I'm using my scissors and cutting off the excess. And I was out of shot for this, but I've got a little bit to show how I glued down. I folded over the edge of that trim and then just continued a little bit at a time. Here I am with the ribbon. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love bling. So this has a little bit of glitter on the ribbon. So I wanted to use that. Not too much, just a little bit of pop of bling. And I used two, um, I think the traditional tie of the ring bearer pillow. You kind of only really need to use one ribbon. Um, you take the ring and tie it up in a sort of little knot that slips right off. But most people don't use that. They actually tie it in a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two ribbons on there. I just chose to use two different types. So I laid down the glittered one first. And then I'm going to lay down the white one next. Then I'm going to lay my flower on top. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Come on over and join our group of Crafty Nistas. See you later.